it going? It's Farm Nick. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2019 video here. We are back here on Flint Hills again. And today, we are going to go ahead and we are going to run downstairs. I just finishing eat my lunch upstairs. We're going to run and check the shop. I already got the grain drill hooked up last night, so uh, I guess we can run out the exit door here. We're going to go fire the tractor up. we got to go get the seed tender dug out of the shed. But I got the 9510 hooked on the grain drill. A couple people wanted that to happen, so we got her hooked up. Put the big horse to work here today. Hop up in her. Let that warm up. Take the old, uh, what do we got? The good old uh, farm truck here. Duramax. We'll go find our lovely seat tender. I think we got to move a couple trailers to be able to get the actual trailer out of the back there. We're not going to, unfortunately we can't put fertilizer or something like that down, so we'll have to, we probably shouldn't be putting fertilizer down ahead, but I think we'll be able to get her, come back and put fertilizer and stuff on the oats. Unhook that there, kind of in a dumb spot. Back these probably here for now. The way, yeah, we'll just hit the tons. Don't eat her. Back that up on an angle. We'll do the next same one. Probably should do this before. We got herbicide and liquid fertilizer in these. Man, there we go. Now let's back in and hook on our seat tender here. Should be full of seat, I believe. Yep. Alrighty. Let's run out. We'll uh, park this on the side of the road for now, I suppose. Out of the way. Whoa. A little drift in there. A little too much speed. Better slow her down. Just a little bit. So this will be episode three. If you guys are enjoying the video series so far, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys are showing enough love, I'd really. Well, Hank, we'll just keep doing this. Um, do you guys? Would you guys be interested in me uh, doing the snow removal series, or do you want me to just stay with the Flint Hill series for right now for a bit? Or do you guys want me to kind of switch it up when I can with the uh, snow removal and lawn landscaping and stuff like that? Um, let me know down below. We also have the public server. I could possibility do videos on there as well down the road. But I think we'll just kind of stick with the one series to start off. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, someone commented one. Like if you guys give me suggestions on what should I put on the equipment. I'll make sure I can do it or I'll try to do it the next time. Um, it just happened this morning. I looked at the video and you guys already com. There was a guy saying that he said put the 9R on her. So... Here we go. I don't remember your name or anything, but I think that's not a bad idea. I was honestly kind of thinking that as well. But we'll open her up. Let's go get some headlands done. Knock them out. So how fast can we put oats in the ground here today? 12 mile an hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's going to take quite a bit of time here to be able to uh, it's going to take a while for us to get these oats planted but that's what happens when you can only afford one drill and you only plant a little bit at a time of oats or wheat just for or, um, for straw you don't need a very big grain drill so just take your time and work around probably go around him once and then I'll get the other one done Nice way to be able to go around and check the field out as well. Getting a little too close there. Remember, we got to plant every inch. Every bushel counts. You never know. <clears throat> I 
I see there is a new uh, that new high-speed disc on here. Maybe we'll be able to. Should we maybe see if we can get a demo unit or try it out on here? I thought about that. Maybe we'll uh, end up getting another VT, or we'll uh, just buy it out or lease it or something, rent it out for the spring because we have do have a bunch of uh, ground yet to cultivate. We just got this field ready to go the other day, so it can plant it and stuff like that. So then the next couple days, we're gonna have a bunch of time to be able to go ahead and get the rest of the fields prepped. So we'll either have to get a high speed, another John Deere high speed disc to be able to get her done quick, or we'll run the two cultivators and the Salford as well. What do you guys think we should do? Let me know down the below. Like maybe there's another cultivator or something out. Um, do any of you guys, I think I said this before, but any, do any of you guys know of a Conskill um, cultivator or a bigger case cultivator out? Something like that with a rolling harrow on the back that you can pull? I'm looking for something like that. So if any of you guys know or know that someone would be able to make me one or something like that, let me know down below. Really appreciate it. So. Started getting a little dirty. Not too bad, not too bad. I think we'll set our uh, ABI GPS line here. Another thing I got looking into last night, um, people were talking about course play. Should we maybe think about getting course play on this series? This is not very straight. Um, would we? Would that be a bad idea to get course play and that way we'd be able to not have to truck or not have to run combine or grain car one day? We could just sit there and run trucks. It's another thing, depends if I can get it to work too. Like, I think it's kind of a little bit of a pain to be able to get it all set up. I did play with it a little bit in 15, never touched it in 17, but I think a lot of people say they did fix their bugs and stuff that they did have in they did have in the stuff before. The only thing I really wish is you'd be able to sit there and hire your grain cart for um, course play. And that way you can sit there and just run your combine because a lot of people love to run combine. I mean, that's one of the things I really love to do in farm sim and probably sit there and between that, probably go ahead and disc ripping would be probably my two top things and here and there run grain cart. Depends if I have a good looking grain cart maybe. But those are usually my kind of favorite things to be able to do I guess. Um, another thing, do you guys like how we've been how we've done lately is we've went ahead and did a bunch of the video and then we turned it into a time lapse to finish it. Do you guys want more of that or do you want me to just do part two of it of planting oats or something like that? I'm probably going to end up doing a time lapse again as well here, but I will um, have to check the comments. I do read every comment when I can. Um, another thing is let me know what you guys think we should do if we should go ahead and just do like two parts of it. We can only plant so much in one day or we uh, just finish it all or I just do a bunch off camera in between stagger, stagger it out. Like that's, you. I want to know what you guys want. You guys are enjoying the content. So whatever makes you guys more happier, we'll do it that way. Whatever way that makes you guys seem to care more about it, the way I do it, then compared to a lot of people either come back and just do it the next day or whatever. Also, um, here in the next couple weeks will be, I don't know if you guys know about maple syrup, how the whole process works. Would you guys be interested in maybe myself, and a couple other people going ahead and making videos on it, how to tap and do all that kind of stuff. We've already been going ahead and fixing the lines. The lines would already be done, but there'll be like hauling sap up to the neighbor and then there'll be, we'll be using the 270 this year in our brand new float we uh, picked up the other, what, probably a month or two ago we picked up, not even a month, a couple weeks actually. Three weeks ago we picked up a new, uh, good size float that we can pull behind the tractor or even the pickup truck as well. More of a heavy duty one for moving the skid, skid steers and stuff like that or seed totes and stuff like that. We can go ahead and grab all of our bean totes and then we can just 
take the bean totes and the 64 around to the fields, unhook and then grab it, put it in the planter and rehook back up. But we could get our quick attach piece out, put it on the back of the three point hitch, so then we could use the, because it's got an eye on it, so we could use like the quick hitch kind of deal. And then we could just pick it up with the three point and get out. Uh, it might speed the process up, but you wouldn't have to jack up so far. Because you'd be there and you'd be able to lower the three point hitch right down and then pick it back up. I don't know. That might be a thing we might do. We usually do have that on the 64 in the winter time because it helps out quite a bit during sap season when we need to drain a tank at night we can just pick up the front of the trailer a lot higher and it seems to drain out that way we don't have any little bit of sap or water left over and it doesn't freeze so that is a situation there we could do but let me know what you guys think about that um do you guys want me to just stick with a lot more farm sim or when spring and everything comes basically not do much farm sim and basically just start vlogging day to day of what goes on the farm cultivating rock picking i don't usually run i don't run the planter uh, but usually stuff like that is i can get footage or i could probably send someone with a gopro and get some footage of planting or mount a couple gopros up do some montages time lapse what would you guys prefer let me know down below another word I've thought about actually getting a drone to be able to get some drone footage of things that's up in the air get someone there's a couple people around locally that have asked and have offered to come out and use fly their drone and get some pretty good shots for me so that could be another possibility I am really thinking about a couple of them actually coming out this spring and getting some nice planning footage and um, working ground cultivating and rock ping it all in the same field or something like that get a bunch of different tractors working in one field I think would make a pretty good thing going there drop him back down we're gonna put another headland on but I just kind of squared that off coming down so when I do have to come back and plant this I don't have to weaver in and get little dabs that I've missed there's just a little bit up there Grab this little chunk of oats. Perfect. Away we go. So basically the public server, we have been working on getting it from building it up. We're getting to a point where we should be able to make a bunch of money, be able to get a second combine, get some more land and stuff like that. Um, we just added probably about, I think we added two or three million dollars um, for equipment and land and stuff like that. And then we've been working up since. Hopefully be able to get some cattle going. No season, so we'll be able to run livestock, horses. Hopefully, we're running, hopefully to run quite a few horses. I think we want to do like a bigger horse pen. We can get a bunch of manure out of them as well. Um, maybe pigs, not 100% sure on that. But how many of you guys would be actually interested in actually playing? Because right now it's just kind of on a smaller private server right now. But if if we get enough interest in it, we can put it on the bigger server that public can join. Um, we can put it back to a public server. Or we can just put it as a server and then you guys can join when you want kind of deal. Um, all we do ask is be in the Discord. That way we can uh, communicate through that instead of in-game chat all the time. Talk and stuff like that way. Because I really don't, a lot of us don't really like the in-game chat quite a bit way. It gets to be kind of a pain going through that when you're trying to make videos or you're trying to do a bunch of stuff. You don't want to be sitting there texting in-game chat. We've had that a couple times where we've had a couple players. We let it go for a couple days, but we were kind of getting tired of that. We like the Discord way. Be able to talk to the person and having to sit there and be able to know the person a little bit better just by t actual communication and stuff like that. Seems to go a little bit better on a server in my opinion. Um, that's basically my 
opinion on that way. I just really encourage you guys to have a mic and be able to talk on Discord with us. It just seems to go a little bit better than having to stop and text. That way you can keep rolling. And there's an inch there. But we got the lovely 9R. We can just turn her right around. No, that's not a bad idea. I think we might have to do this more often, put the bigger tractor right on the girl. Just gotta be careful not to cut her a little too sharp. Might help if we lower the drill down. Away we go. I've never ran a drill or anything like that in real life, or planned at anything, to be tell you the honest truth. I've basically just Elevated ground, plowed ground, combined a couple hundred acres of corn, uh, maybe 40 to 30 acres of beans. That's about all I've really done. And run track, loader tractors, and manure spreaders, and stuff like that as well. But I've never really ran a planter or drill or anything like that. I think it'd be a little bit easier to do on beans because beans, if you screwed up, you, you just got a little bit of a wobble in there. You usually use auto steer. But with corn, you need pretty straight rows to be able to follow the corn hit, right? I think I'd want to learn how to do soybeans before I learned how to do corn. Get pretty familiar with the bean field. Planting them, because worse comes to worse. If you're still able to harvest them, you'll just have a little bit of not a very good headland or something like that along the lines there. I think quite a few of you guys actually work on farms, if I remember correctly. Either live on farms or work on farms or help out or something like that. I remember reading somewhere on that. One of the videos I think I asked you guys. But what do you guys think of our equipment so far? Do you guys think we got enough deer? I think we do have quite a bit of deer. Um, I think we maybe need to get a little bit more red equipment on here. What do you guys think about that? Because you guys have always been asking about that I need to get some more red equipment. I did start buying more red equipment and be honest with you guys, you kind of got me into the buying a little bit more red equipment lately. Um, like the implements and stuff, I've always ran red implements, stuff like that, like the case rippers and case cultivators. But I found a tractor that I've really liked and I think that's the MX series right now. I don't think there's a really other tractor that I really enjoy using right now. Got the nice drill. I forget who this drill's by, but this guy did a pretty good job on this drill here. It's pretty actually realistic in my opinion. The wheels all turn what they should. The hydraulics are pretty amazing on here as well. It's got a nice seed box on the top. Um, it's even one of the newer ones that you can actually get a tote underneath, I believe. I think you, I believe you can get a tote under the back part here somehow. And then you could dump the actual seed box out. If I remember correctly, I think they made it on the, the planters as well now. No, it wouldn't be able to planters. It'd be the uh, grain drills for sure, I think it was. They could actually get a full-on seed box underneath, and then you could just dump the meters and stuff like that. If I remember correctly. We'll do a bit more plant here, and then we'll just go ahead and probably time-lapse it. Do you guys like how I've been doing it lately as I've been kind of showing making it prepping the video like doing a little bit of prepping stuff and then we'll have to dig out equipment to get to the stuff or do you guys want me to have all that ready to go that way we can just jump straight into the field and be able to get things done there um, let me know down below what you guys think we should keep doing or change it up maybe I do a bunch of stuff and I get the headlands and stuff already done just let me know what you guys prefer me seeing. Like, I think the headlands are personally kind of boring because you're not going up and down. See, so going up and down the field like this, I can zoom around, get different shots of the thing. We can go like this, whatever. Should I run more in cab, out cab? Let me know down below, guys. Um. Maybe I need to start, I'm thinking about maybe starting to post more, would you guys be interested in it? start posting more farm sim kind of pictures on my Instagram, maybe even the Facebook page. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below if that's another thing you guys would like kind of seeing different pictures throughout the day, maybe. 
if I can, or even what happens in real life, whatever, I just start posting more stuff on the social media, pictures and stuff like that. I'm planning on hopefully getting into, I did start kind of doing it last fall. I think we'll do a bit better this year in the spring going on. But let me know down below what you guys think I should do as, that as well there. But I think without further ado, I think we'll just time lapse it. You guys have seen probably quite a bit of planning. I think on the tournament there, I did do quite a bit of plant notes and drilling beans and canola even, I think we did as well. Um, but do you guys like how I'm doing the crops right now? We're going to do corn in these two fields, beans in these two. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below in that comment section. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on that post notification, and we will just do a time lapse. Let me know if you guys think I should just keep doing more of part twos and stuff like that. And we will catch you next one. Don't forget to turn that piss notification on. And uh, don't forget to check out the Discord. It should be down in the description along with my Facebook and Instagram. And we will catch you in the next one.
check the tag Journey for to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we wait 